We're now going to look at an example where it's very important to understand the underlying implementation or at least the underlying way that we can, from a picture point of view, understand how lists are structured. And so I'm going to start out with just creating an example list. So my list is the list containing two and four. So we'll simply have two elements in the list. Now I'm going to create another list. Let's call it L. And L is going to be the list containing one, three, and five. And so I've got two lists, one with two items, one with three. Now what I'm going to do is perform some appends. And so I'm going to ask my list to append the value of L. Now what am I doing? I'm adding L to the end of my list. And if I do that, my list will look as we would expect. It starts out with the values 2 and 4, and then the new third item is the list 1, 3, 5. And in fact, I can do that again. My list dot append L. And if I look at my list, I now have four items. The last two items are both sublists because I appended L, which was a list in itself. Let's take a look at pictorially what we have done. And so my list started out as a reference to two items which we can draw as a collection of two references to objects. So we've got a reference to the object 2 and a reference to the object 4. So my list is a reference to a list which is a collection of references where the first reference is at position 0 and the second reference is at position 1. Then we did an append of a list. Well, the list L, by using the same diagram, had three items. And so we have a reference to the object 1, a reference to the object 3, and a reference to the object 5. So when we perform the append, what happens is my list is going to add another reference, and that reference now is going to be to the list called L. And so now the item in my list at reference 2 is a reference to the entire list with 1, 3, and 5. And if I do another append, I add an item at position 3, but again, it's going to be a reference to what L refers to, which is this entire list. So after appending L twice, the picture that I get is my list is a reference to four items. The first is the object 2, the second is the object 4, the third is a list with 1, 3, and 5, and the fourth is a list with 1, 3, and 5. The important thing to realize here is that position 2 and position 3 of my list are actually referring to the same list. And the reason we know that is because when we did the append, we were appending L in both cases. Now why is this important? Well, what if I go into my list and try to make a change? If I say my list indexed by 2, well, that's a list. What if I try to modify an item of that list? My list indexed by 2, and I would like the first item, so indexed by 0, well, that's the 1. 
What if I want to change that? Lists are mutable, so this is perfectly legal. My list indexed by 2 is a list with 1, 3, and 5. Indexed by 0 is the first item in that list, and I'm going to change that to 999. Well, if I do that and look at that item, we can see that in fact it now is 999. But what happens when I look at my list? At first glance, you think something strange has happened. Because now, not only in item 2 is the zeroth item 999, but also here, in item 3, the first item has been changed to 999. Now why would that be? Well again, if we come to our picture, it's clear. When I asked my list indexed by 2, indexed by 0, to modify, what I was doing was changing this reference to now refer to the value 999. So now, my picture shows that the reference from item 2 of my list refers to a list of three things, 999, 3, and 5. But because in the original list we appended L twice, the fourth item of my list, the item at position 3, is also a reference to that same structure which has as its first item now 999. And in fact, if we go one step further and evaluate L, we can see that it has been changed. L itself is a reference to three references, the first of which is 999. The point here is that we have to be very careful when we create lists out of other objects. If we have lists containing references to other objects, when we make copies or when we duplicate those references, we are actually creating multiple references to the same thing and changing one occurrence will actually change all of them.